So for our second iteration, we start with this value. Right? And the last two bits are 1, 1. So what are we going to do? Uh, nothing. Nothing. And then what's the next bit? Shift. So sh shift right. That's what SR means. So let's keep this kit most significant bit the same. Then everything else gets shifted. 1, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 1, and then 1. And that's the end of the second iteration. So now we get our third iteration. What are our last two bits? So what are we doing? Excellent. You guys will like those kinds of stuff. And then same thing, shift right. So maintain the same initial bit. And everything else gets shifted, so it's going to be 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and then 1. And so now we're our fourth iteration. Okay, so it's 0, 1, so we're going to add. So this becomes 1. We can't see. Okay, thank you. And then take. A, which is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. I'm going to add these together. It becomes 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, becomes 0, 1, 1, 0. And this is a carry, but as I mentioned before, we don't have to worry about it. If you have any carry bits that go off, like we have here, they just go. You don't have, you don't worry about them. And so, what do we do next? Shift right. So I'm I'm gonna start this because a very common mistake on exams is students will get to this last step and then forget to do the last right shift, and then they panic because their number is just massively larger than 105. So or whatever the number happens to be on the example. So it's zero, maintain the same thing, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, and then zero. And then what's the last thing that we do? Okay, we drop the least significant bit. And so our result is zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. And that is correct. That is 105 in base 10. So does anybody have any questions about any of these steps that we've done? Uh, you got your hand up first. What does the P stand for again? P stands for product. Oh, okay. So the, we're going to have the steps where we're going to either add or subtract. And then the final solution, the, the multiply and the multiplicand are multiplied to give the product. So that's what P stands for. Yes. So we drop here the least significant and the most significant. Uh, yes. Uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me correct myself. That's not true. You want to mean? Why would we want to maintain this most significant bit? What's this value going to be? Sign. It's going to be the sign, right? So you want to maintain this value. Now, in this particular case, this happened to be uh, zero as well, just because we don't have. You know, it's it's not a huge number. It just happened to be 105. But we do want to maintain the most significant bit. But dropping this least significant bit will, and the and I, I don't know if you read the paper like you said you're going to. Uh, did it, it is noted in the slides that I posted? But this bit at the end here is added specifically to determine which two bits we're going to do on each iteration. So does any have yes? So when we're writing our answer down, if it, if that. Correct. And we'll, we'll go over our next uh, example will be uh, 15 times negative 7. We'll, you'll see an example of that. Any other questions? I was thinking like, because we do a right shift at yes. the end, mm -hmm. if there was a negative sign, would it still be? Um, no, because remember, okay, that's a good question. The question asking is why are we going to have the negative sign if we're shifting right? Remember in, in the algorithm that I wrote that I want you to maintain the same bit 
uh, the most significant bit every time. That's so that way you can maintain the integrity of the, of the sign. So you do want to maintain this, but this is the one that's going to go right here. These are all really good questions. Anybody have any other questions?